Good morning, you. Since you don't know how to find the perimeter of an object, I'll be teaching that to you today. If my teacher can't even teach me that, I'm pretty sure you can't. That's another day of detention for you. Taylor, we can help. I said we can help. Follow me. With math wizards. I've been looking at all this new web stuff. It's like so cool. It's got all this cool math stuff, and I found a way to find the perimeter, and it's so easy. No way. Yeah, it's super cool. Who is this? This is Taylor. She's not too good at math, though, but we can help her. Yeah, don't worry. We'll get you like a math wits like us. Maybe you can even join our group. So, Taylor, what would you need help with? Distance, volume, area, and perimeter. All right, let's go. Oomcha, 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 boom! Whoa! Was that a math lizard? I don't know. Well, this was a square root of measure, but I guess I'll just have to wait till the math lizard gets here. Why would we measure a square? What does that have to do with perimeter? It has a lot of things to do with perimeter. I'll just wait till the math lizard gets here. I'm here. I found the measuring tape on my way, too. Well, I guess we'll tell her little secret is on part of the perimeter. It isn't really a secret. I think I remember a few things on perimeter. Isn't it length times height or something? You are close, but length and height together are not what you use to find the perimeter. Length was right, height was wrong. Correct right, solution is length times width. Taylor, you'll hold the measuring tape and I'll measure it. Okay. The length of the square is eight feet, and the width of the square is eight feet. Taylor, what is eight times four? Eight times four is 32. That is correct. Now, how did we find the perimeter of the square? We measured the length and the width, and then added all the sides together. Taylor, you're almost ready for a big test. Is eight feet, and the width of the square is eight feet. Taylor, what is eight times four? Eight times four is 32. That is correct. Now, how did we find the perimeter of the square? We measured the length and the width, and then added all the sides together. Taylor, yeah, like you're almost ready for a big test. Whoa! Whoa! Where's the math wizard? I don't know. Wait, she's late. Again! Again. Don't worry, I'm here. But I always miss stuff, and it's all because of you. You always mess up this spell, and I always miss out on stuff. Excuse me? Yes, excuse you. Well, Taylor, this is your old classroom. What do you mean it's my old classroom? What you don't know, Taylor, is that the whole world is your classroom. What do you mean? You can use this measurement anywhere you go. For instance, the highway. Who said that? Me, standing behind the camera. Even though you thought I was a stranger, I'm really one of the math wizards, just like them. Her name is Jalen. She was once a normal kid like you, but now she's a math wizard. Well, I just want to be done with all this measurement stuff before my teacher comes back. Don't worry, it's a lunch break. Okay, you have a measuring tape, and I'll measure. Okay. <sighs> there you go. The width of the drawer that we are measuring is 11 inches. Now let's measure length. Okay. Hold that. of the gate that we are measuring is 19 inches. Unlike last time when you measured the perimeter, you added all the sides together. But this time, you multiply length times width. What is 11 times 19? 11 inches times 19 inches is 209 square inches. That's right. Hannah, is there something you want to say? Yeah, you're almost ready for a big test. But before we do the spell, you use square inches because that's how much can fit into something, like the drawer mm -hmm. that we measured. All right, let's go. Oomcha, 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 boom! Okay, hold that. The length of the gate that we are measuring is 19 inches. Unlike last time when you measured the perimeter, you added 
all the sides together. But this time, you multiply length times width. What is 11 times 19? 11 inches times 19 inches is 209 square inches. That's right. Hannah, is there something you want to say? Yeah, you're almost ready for your big test. But before we do the spell, you use square inches because that's how much can fit into something, like the drawer mm -hmm. that we measured. All right, let's go. Oomja, 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 boom! Take the test distance on. You can race. I want to race. Well, I do. Distance is how long it took an object to go from point A to point B. Very good, Taylor. You're almost ready for your big test. The width of the box is about 1.25 of my hand. The length of the box is equal to one of my hands. And the height of the box is, e is equal to 0 .se 0 0.75 of my hand. Taylor, you're almost turning into a mad loser. Hannah, smell me out of here so I can pick up a measuring tape so then we can ask Taylor to measure the volume of the box in inches and then you can put it. Okay, oomcha, 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 boom! How do you, so, how do you think you're going to do in the test? I think I'm going to do very well. You and all the other math wizards have taught me so well. <laughs> I'm going to do like ace this test. Do you think I'm going to do good? Yeah. Why do you think I'm going to do good? Well, it's just because you're doing so great. I can't really explain it. Well, you've taught me well. Yeah. I'm back. Taylor, measure the box. Okay. The height of the box is 4.5. The length of the box is about six, six inches. And the width of the box is about five inches. Now let's multiply height, length, and width. Um, the answer is one, 135 cubic inches. Now let's convert the metric system, Taylor, so you can go on Google and put 135 cubic inches to centimeters. have to use your brain as much if you've been working hard like yourself. You're almost ready for a big test, Taylor. I know. This is so hard. Taylor, remember where we 